Hey, what's going on guys? Neil here bringing you a brand new video. Today I just wanted to talk about some relevant news in the cryptocurrency space and I just wanted to give you an update on where I've been. Yeah, sorry for my absence this past week. I've uh, been on vacation and been working on a few different projects and just trying to focus on myself. Um, I also started up my S-Corp, which is similar to an LLC, so that took up some of my time among a few other things. Um, I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me when I've been gone. It's been really great to see uh, every, this whole community come together. Uh, definitely check out the links below in the description to join my Discord chat for live callouts on crypto and stock trades. Also check out the links below if you want to get started trading on Robinhood or Coinbase with stocks or cryptocurrency. Those are affiliate links that will help me out. Um, if you, on Coinbase, if you spend up to $100, $100 or more, you'll get a free $10 in Bitcoin, and so will I. And on Robinhood, if you sign up under my affiliate link, um, you don't even have to pump in any money. You just have to sign up and link your bank account and get approved, and we'll both receive a free stock. And also, my donation links are down below. I'm trying to save up right now to buy a new desktop, as well as some new editing software and a few other things, pieces of hardware like a mouse, keyboard, etc. Um, so all those donations go back to helping out the channel. Um, let's get right into this video, though. So this is really big news in the cryptocurrency space. Um, this is on fortune.com, so definitely a reliable source. It says this big cryptocurrency acquisition could create a Wall Street-style financial giant. So Circle, which is a cryptocurrency-focused financial services firm, which is actually a startup of Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs is pretty much entering the game. Well, announced today that is buying crypto exchange Poloniex. And Poloniex is not the big, biggest exchange. It's not like Binance or anything, or Bittrex even. I believe it's probably a little smaller than that. I haven't looked at the numbers, though, as far as the volume. Um, but still a big move. A move that immediately makes Circle one of the largest and most influential companies in the industry. Fortune's Robert Hackett profiles a company that hopes to leverage the technology behind Bitcoin to become the bank of the next century. So this is huge news i think this is goldman sachs stepping into the cryptocurrency space and wanting to really take over and i wouldn't be surprised if other big companies step into the space um in the next few months i would assume honestly so it goes to talk about how on a christian every morning um he arrives at circle and this is when in january when all the prices were plummeting and they talk about how calm they are and pretty much after all whether the market sinks or soar circle is set to make a killing the business operates Circle Trade, one of the biggest over-the-counter trading desks for cryptos. When big price movements push investors to buy and sell, Circle acts as an intermediary between whales and shoppers. Within Circle Circle, volatility is a moneymaker. When things start to get out really out of whack fast, that tends to be good for us. Um, so going down a little bit, um, the desk handles more than $2 billion a month in crypto transactions with a minimum deal size of 250 k The biggest deals run as high as $200 million. Customers tend to fall into a few categories. Early investors whose coin have soared in value, coin mining operations, and cryptocurrency business ventures. This is big. This is like pretty much sounds like it's private equity for cryptocurrency. From November through January, Circle Trade bought in more than 60 million, brought in more than 60 million in revenue, crude in several million just on the day of my visit, according to a source familiar with the company's financials. So they're bringing in big money. Um, this is really big for the market. Um, Circle reps revenues over the past three months, excluding February, exceeded 250 million, placing the company on annual run rate greater than 1 billion. Not bad for a five year old upstart. So it goes on to talk a little bit more about Circle. Um, if you want to check out this a little more, then definitely go ahead and check that out. But we're talking about uh, this is where the crypto sharks swim, quote unquote. So this is where a lot of the crypto sharks have their money. As you can see, Binance has the biggest trading volume, then Upbit, then Kraken, then Bittrex, Coinbase, then Gemini. These are all huge uh, crypto exchanges, and these are a little old as of January 30th, 2018. And they go on to talk about more of the details of this acquisition and what it could mean for the future. I think um, this, along with you know all the FUD going away, Robinhood opening up a free trading exchange, just more competition within this market, I think is going to drive the market cap upwards and kind of get bigger investors involved within the space um, on the private and public level, I believe. Um, so with that being said, I wanted to talk about the other side of this 
and where Goldman Sachs sees this as a potential risk as well. Obviously, they see it as an opportunity. That's why they're going ahead and doing it. But let's talk about what the potential risks are and what they think about the cryptocurrency space as a whole. So for now, it says, but for now, Goldman's sole exposure to the industry is through its investment in Circle. So this one is from Coindesk, another reliable source, says, Goldman Sachs' latest to label crypto a business risk. Investment banking giant Goldman Sachs has cited its connection to cryptocurrencies and blockchain as a potential risk, public records show. So according to the February 26th filing, which is yesterday, constitutes its annual report to the fiscal year 2017, Goldman believes that might be impacted because of the work with clients and companies it has invested in Goldman is an investor in payment startup Circle, which announced today it had acquired the crypto exchange Poloniex and is one of the... Is one of, is one of a number of investment banks that offers its customers access to Bitcoin's future market. So they're really playing with the future market, but let's talk about what the company wrote. We may be or may become exposed to risk related to distributed ledger technology through our facilitation of clients' activities involving financial products linked to distributed ledger technology, such as blockchain or cryptocurrencies. Our investments in companies that seek to develop platforms based on distributed ledger technology and use of distributed ledger technology by third party vendors, clients, counterparties, uh, clearing houses, and other financial intermediaries. So obviously there is no obvious connection drawn, but the risks were highlighted, particularly on the cryptocurrency front. It may form the reason why Goldman has thus far um, skewed or not really showed more interest in the involvement in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market. In January, CEO Lloyd Blankfin denied a past report that the investment bank was eyeing the launch of a dedicated trading desk for Bitcoin though he did leave the door open for such a move at a later date. We're a prime broker, and so if our clients are going to do it, we're going to do it. A principal Bitcoin business where we're going long and short, market making, so far we're not, he said at the time. So, and says, this is a disclosure, coin is a subsidiary of Digital Currency Group, which has ownership stake in Circle. So obviously, Coindesk has some relation to almost all cryptocurrencies and their exchanges and everything, so... I don't think that makes them not credible. What I wanted to talk about here is, you know, how they see the risk, but at the same time, they see the potential. That's why they're jumping in this market. Um, it's definitely a risk regardless. I mean, I only, I say it's all the time to my friends who I help to get started investing in cryptocurrency, you know, only really risk as much as you're willing to lose unless you really know what you're doing within this market. Um, so it's definitely a big thing for them and their clients. Um, so they want to make sure that this is going to be a safe market and a profitable market for them. So let's just see what happens here moving forward. I was also talking to uh, a family friend who is in private equity, and they said they're having a serious meeting uh, coming up on cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. And it seems like their view in general, as far as the finance industry goes, is that the one that actually comes out on top will be a quote-unquote currency, like what Litecoin is trying to do right now with LightPay. But, you know, like I said before, Bitcoin really is the digital gold and it can continue to grow in its market cap. I wouldn't be surprised if we end this year around uh, six, seven hundred billion up, all the way up to possibly even a trillion this year. I mean, that'd be over a two times increase from where we are now. But it's definitely possible uh, seeing that we already reached 800 billion last year. So definitely keep an eye on that moving forward. Keep an eye on Goldman Sachs and other big firms entering this market. Definitely is going to have a uh, big role in the cryptocurrency market as well as um you know like i said they're they're doing private equity for their clients so this is going to be a lot of big money coming into the market whether it might not be directly into the cryptocurrency market it might be within the futures that's going to be a little different in how it affects the market cap but overall i think this is a good thing for cryptocurrency it gives more relevancy when you see a name like goldman sachs backing um their startup which buys a cryptocurrency exchange so it's definitely good news in my opinion uh, like I said before, check out all the links below, um, join my Discord chat, sign up for Robinhood for free, sign up for Coinbase, check out uh, the donation links below, um, and I'll make another video soon talking about uh, the rebranding that I've done um, by starting up my S-Corp, which is similar to an LLC, and I'll talk about why I went ahead and did that, and also keep your eye on the lookout for a more higher quality edit of why I do what I do and kind of like quote unquote my story, but that's going to take some time. I'm not rushing that. Thank you guys for all the support. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.